What up, though? All right, so uh, it's Saturday uh, at 3 o'clock. Happy New Year. It's definitely the first clip I've filmed of 2018. Ugh, I'm sick as fuck. And uh, I woke up today um, coughing up blood. So I just want to show you that. So I'm going to show graphic blood soaked into a Kleenex right now. So if you don't like that, you can look away. Uh, yeah, so I woke up today and uh, I blew my nose into this rag and I fucking was coughing. This is the first thing that came out of me this morning as soon as I woke up at around 10 a.m. And uh, the status just says day 10 of being sick, day 5 on the puffer, this is what came out of me. So, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know what the fuck is going on. Some people online are showing concern for me, saying I might have lung cancer. Other people are saying I need to go and get a fucking chest x-ray, but I'm not going to the clinic today. I've been sick like this a million times in the past. I don't see why I need to rush to the fucking clinic today to get a chest x-ray. It's not like that shit's going to fucking heal me. You know, the x-ray isn't going to fucking kill what's inside of me. So I don't care about getting checked up. That's how I kind of feel about it. But uh, am I the creator of my own demise this way? Possibly, but I don't care. I don't know. I do care about my health, but not enough to go to the fucking clinic today. So, anyway, what ended up happening with me was uh, I got mad sick, and uh, I woke up on December 28th. I wasn't feeling good at all. <coughs> and then uh, I went to work on the 28th. I went to work, or uh, doesn't even matter what I did. The point is that I woke up, on Thursday the 28th, I went to work, I feel shitty. Friday I come home, I feel like shit. Saturday the 30th, I fucking feel like shit. Sunday the 31st, oh fuck that day, man. That day, like, I slept all day, I was overheated, I couldn't regulate my body temperature. It was like a case of, if you are naked with a blanket on you, it's too hot. If you're gotta lay one foot thin layer of clothing on with fucking no blanket you're soaking hot like I couldn't I couldn't regulate temperature and uh, I was like getting 20 minutes of 20 minutes to half an hour of being awake and then I would like stumble out of my bed with this massive massive all-encompassing headache and uh, I'd stumble out to my living room chair I'd, I'd sit on the chair I'd fall asleep uh, on the chair for a few minutes, like 45 minutes to an hour, and then I'd wake up for 20 minutes to a half an hour, sometimes maybe go to the bathroom and get sick, and then lay on the floor of the bathroom for 45 minutes, because that was actually a decent temperature to help regulate my body, but then sleeping on the floor was too shitty on my back, so I'd get up like 45 minutes later, I'd stumble out to the couch where I'd fucking pass out on the couch here for 45 minutes or so. It was shit, man. It was fucking shit, and I wasn't taking any drugs for it. I was just suffering through it, and it was like, honestly, the best description that I can have is like, it was like living a fucking nightmare. It was like being awake during a nightmare. It was just, it was awful. And uh, so then on Monday, the 1st, <coughs> well, just to give you guys another quick update, on Sunday, the 31st, I ended up going to bed at like 9 p.m., and I slept, and I slept until probably just after midnight, or, you know, up and down a little bit maybe, but the point is, I went to bed at 9, I got up just after midnight, I rushed to the bathroom to throw up, and that's what I did with my January 1st, within the first hour of 2018, I threw up all the fucking food that I ate, and then passed out on the bathroom floor. That's what I did, that's what I did. Um, so then Monday I went to work, Monday night, Tuesday morning I went to the clinic, and my fucking, uh, doctor was not in, so I had to go see some regular fuckboy doctor, who's like, oh yeah, we're gonna try something different, so he puts me on a fucking, uh, on an inhaler, which I'm not sure exactly where I placed that inhaler, um, but it's not a big deal, it's a fucking inhaler like every other one, and I gotta take two fucking puffs, twice a day 
I don't know where it is. I placed it somewhere. I'll find it when I need it. <laughs> But yeah, man, so that's what's up. I went to the doctor on Tuesday. He gave me an inhaler. I instantly feel like the inhaler started to help, but ever since then, it hasn't really been helping. So now, uh, I went to work also on Tuesday the 2nd, like Tuesday night I went to work because it was the first scheduled shift I had after the holiday. So I needed to do that shift in order to... Uh, obtain my holiday pay and then I wrote a note to my fucking boss and I was like look I need my last two days of the week off Wednesday and Thursday and in conjunction with my regular time off of work which is generally Friday Saturday and Sunday so I've just been sitting around like I've been sitting the fuck around doing almost absolutely nothing at the house like barely did any cleaning but tried to do nothing I did nothing I didn't do anything man I barely edited any videos there was a couple of days where like walking for a couple of days walking from my bedroom to the bathroom at the back was exhausting it was like taking every ounce of energy out of me and I couldn't do anything about it <coughs> so for a couple of days the plants in the back didn't get any water, but that's okay because they're fucking actually growing great. And uh, they're actually growing so good that they're over um, um, uh, nutrient. I'm giving them too much nutrients. They're receiving too much nutrients, and some of my sugar leaves are actually eagle clawing down. So I'm just going to thin it out, thin out the newts, fucking start giving them more water over here. It's like, you know, today is uh, Saturday. So we're just ending the week five of flower here. So uh, that's cool. We're going to start thinning out the newts. And uh, that's it about the weed. So anyway, back to being sick. Oh, the reason that I was talking about the weed is because it was taking so much fucking energy out of me just to walk to the bathroom to take a piss and then back to bed to lay down. I had to catch my breath. I said, fuck this. There's no way that I can water these plants. So for two days, the plants didn't get water. But uh, now we're back on track. Things are good. So yeah, man. I mean, like, that's what's been up with me for the last week since New Year's. <coughs> and um, other than still feeling this heavy, heavy lung infection... All my sick symptoms are gone. I feel fine. My nose is stuffed up. My throat is a little scratchy from constantly coughing, but it's not like a sick. It's just from like coughing. Friction is what's hurting it. And um, my skin is insensitive. My body temperature is regulated. Um, you know, I was <laughs> whatever. I don't care. I was really sick, so I wasn't like pleasuring myself and now I, I I did that once or twice and so that just I think is indicative of me feeling a little bit better like if I got energy to do something like that that's good right I mean I don't know it is it is good and uh, also like I said like every symptom of being sick is basically gone I've got my appetite back I'm pooping normally my liquid intake went down i was having a lot of liquid shits because i was drinking like fucking four liters of orange juice a day <coughs> and that's what's up man so like i'm feeling better but i'm still sick i can't shake it uh spitting up all that blood okay spitting all this blood up is not a normal uh everyday thing like Maybe it'll be every day where I'll cough up a little bit of blood when I wake up, but that's just like I'm I'm justifying I get I'm justifying it I guess by saying oh it's okay because it only happens once a day when I wake up all the shit in me needs to come out of my mouth and my throat you know what I mean and uh, so I don't know man uh, I'm gonna keep taking the fucking puffer and uh, and uh, and. You know, we're Saturday, like I keep saying, so I'm going to take the puffer today, tomorrow, and Monday. And if I don't see any type of, like, physical change in my in my congestion with my lungs, then, uh, then I'm going to go back to the clinic on Tuesday morning, see if I can see my family doctor there, and, and check it out. Oh, look, the whole time I was looking for it, it was right here on the table in front of me. That happens to me way too often. So they gave me a Zenhale MDI... Five by a hundred micrograms. 
Formo Momet. I don't know what the fuck any of that means. So anyway, on the inhaler, it's supposed to be an anti fucking back um what is it? Any antibiotic. It's supposed to be an antibiotic, so hopefully it's helping, but I can't say that it is. <coughs> I've just been sleeping when I want, waking up when I want, no discernible sleep pattern. It's been really fucked up for me, this one. And I get sick a lot. If you watch the videos, y'all know I get sick like this a couple times a year. But this one was particularly bad this time around. And uh, it's really kind of like motivating me to want to have some life changes. And uh, <laughs> what's really funny about that is I don't want to do the type of life change where I quit smoking. Because I love getting high on weed. I'm growing weed. I love weed. It's weed, weed. You know what I mean? And uh, I think that that's okay. I don't, you know, to justify my drug intake, which I do not need to do. I do want to sit on a stool for a second. You know, to justify my drug intake, which I do not need to do, um... I don't drink alcohol. I don't really partake in too many other drugs, like heavily. You know what I mean? I, I I got my I got my altering my brain through a chemical process for pleasure on lock, and I only really do it with weed, or dabs, or a derivative thereof. And I don't want smoking to be what fucking takes me down, like. It's, I want to get the motivation to change every other aspect of my life <coughs> before I decide that, yup, it's smoking. Smoking is what is fucking taking me down and I got to stop it because that's like, that's just, I, I don't feel addicted to marijuana, but I love getting stoned and I don't want to change that. You know what I mean? And I think that's perfectly acceptable. So, with all that being said, I am sick. Uh, I've just been laying in bed for days, not going anywhere, not doing anything. And that's it. So, I mean, 12 minutes of fucking talking about it is enough of a fucking vlog. Um, thanks for understanding now after you've watched this video why I didn't release any content on the new year because I didn't fucking do anything. I stayed home alone and fucking cried. And then, uh, still sick. We didn't do positive vibes last Wednesday and I got an email from, uh, from a viewer who wanted to know why, what time shit was dropping on Friday, yesterday that just passed. And uh, I said, look, I'm either going to make a video for tonight for f or next Friday. And then his email was the motivation that I needed to get editing. So absolutely this vlog now on Monday, a live show this Wednesday, which I have probably not, it will probably not happen, but I'm really trying to get my mom to come to talk on the show and give an update about my dad. And, uh, so that may happen, but if not, it'll just be a regular Wednesday night show with me and Iceman. And then I did edit episode 9 of Grow Show, and spoiler alert on this whole fucking show, it's basically less than 20 minute run time, and to me, it feels like an incomplete episode. So I went searching and searching for fucking data to try to figure out where these missing clips could be. And they just, they don't exist. It's not that they are lost. I just must have not taken any fucking clips. Because basically what happens is episode 9 is going to drop this Friday. And then, and then it goes basically into season 2. But season 2 is the beginning of a new crop. But also we're going to end up doing some kind of harvest for the previous season. So the new crop, new season two of Grow Show is going to drop. It's going to be the end of season one and the beginning of season two in one episode. And that will probably come out in February, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so basically the season finale-ish of... Uh, it's not the finale because we didn't flower or fucking harvest. 
But anyway, enough, enough, enough rambling on. Please tell me what you think is wrong with me in the comment section of this video. <coughs> I mean, pertaining to my sickness. I don't have time to read all the other bullshit that you would say about what you think is wrong with me. But, uh, you know, if you type it, I'll read it. That's for sure. And uh, that's it. So if I do turn on the camera, which I, I'm not saying I'm not gonna, but I don't really have an intention to do that. Thank you for watching this 15 minute ramble of me catching you up with the last week or so of my sickness. I will definitely be keeping y'all updated on how I'm sick and how I'm not sick because that's my life. And, um, and that's it. So if the vlog is over, thank you very much for watching this episode, and uh, I'll be back next week, hopefully feeling better, hopefully with another golf cart update, because I think I got one. I think I might have one. And, um, you know, all the other regular shows that we do are coming out. We're going to do another fucking uh, No Seconds this month. We'll definitely maybe do that live. We'll definitely maybe, we will definitely do it how we present it, I'm unsure, Probably live. I like doing live shit better than I like editing. Although I wish I had a multi-camera setup for live shows. Anyway, that's enough rambling on about all that. Thank you again for watching this episode. If there's more clips, they're going to happen right now. If there's no more clips, then we just roll the credits. And, uh, oh, just one more, one more quick thing about my dad. <coughs> not good. My dad's not good. He, uh... If you don't know, real quick, my dad went in for a kidney stone operation removal at the beginning of December, and he had like this adverse effect to the anesthetic. It was a really bad time that I had to go and witness him suffering through that. And now it's basically been just over a month. He's been in the hospital, bedridden. The anesthetic, we feel, has sped up the dementia that he was very slightly starting to have before he went into the fucking thing. He hasn't gotten out of the bed for a month. Basically, he's not walking on his own. And also, basically, we believe that he'll never come home to live like where my mom lives. He'll never come home to live again. Uh, he's got to go to like an old person physio or some shit. But for those expanded details, I'm hoping that my mom will come on Wednesday to give a big update about my dad for everybody. So while I'm usually always awesome... The month of December and the month of January so far have been mega shitty. So to everybody that's about to leave a, a comment, oh, you're in my thoughts, or you're in my prayers, or you're this or you're that, thank you for all those kind words preemptively. And now, this is enough of the video. So thank you for listening to me talk for 20 minutes. I'm, I'm not going to put in any other clips. This is the end of the vlog. I got to get some rest around here this weekend. So that's it. We'll talk to you. On the vlog next Monday. Whoop, whoop. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I'll talk more. I'll talk fucking more. I don't care because I've just been gone for a week. Last, last thing. Absolutely promise, okay? Juggalo Day got announced in Las Vegas. I'm not fucking going. I can't afford a fucking plane ticket to fly out to fucking Vegas for three days. Shit's almost 500 Canadian fucking dollars. And, um... And uh, Dark Carnival Games Convention 2 was announced, but that's going to be out in Denver, Colorado, and I'm feeling like I'm in the same boat. Well, that shit is in May, I don't feel like I'm going to have the money right now to get ready to go to the uh, Dark Carnival Games Convention in Denver, Colorado this year. So, no Juggalo Day, no fucking Dark Carnival Games Convention I'm focusing on getting a golf cart, and basically, those two plane tickets, like those two round trips, that's, that's the cart, that's the cart, so, I'm making some sacrifices for some gains, hopefully, and uh, now that is legitimately it, so thank you for watching, thank you for listening to the update if you watch the whole 20 minutes, and uh, if you got any whatever to say to me, if you got anything to say to me, leave it in the comments section of the video. I'll definitely be reading it. And that's it, okay? So we'll see you on the vlog next week. Woo! Woo!